Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, it is uh, Friday afternoon, and I am. Um, uh, I have just received word that the Apple II Core on the Mister has been updated to include disk saving. Now, if that is true, we're gonna go run our script here for update all which will update all of the scripts on the mister. But if this is true, uh, then um, it should unlock some of the RPGs on the Apple II that until now have been unplayable. And the whole... Uh, my nostalgia for the Apple II computer is uh, greatly tied to RPGs. Um, it is the system that I first got wizardry on. It is the system that I first got, uh, uh, fantasy on. It is, uh, uh, definitely, uh, the, uh, system that, uh, I mean, really uh, role-playing games, not text adventures so much. Text adventures, I really kind of gravitated towards the PC because they were 80 columns. But um, uh, definitely for uh, RPGs, that was all about, uh, that was all about the Apple II for me. So we're running update all on the mister, and we will see once this is done, if it is true, if you are able to play these games. So a little bit of backstory here. What has, what had happened was of course on the original mist, there were, uh, uh, all these cores and a lot of those cores were just kind of patched and trans transported, translated, migrated over to the mister and people haven't been doing a lot of uh, work. Now, some have been updated to a great degree in the, Commodore 64 core got uh, tons and tons of upgrades. Uh, the Nintendo core, I mean, lots of them got uh, a lot of attention. But some of the other ones that were less popular, less popular systems were ported over and kind of abandoned. That's kind of what happened to the Apple II core. Just enough was done to um, <clears throat> uh, get it up and running. And then uh, after that, hey, Edvin, what's up? Uh then uh, they just got abandoned. And so um, hopefully um, now, of course, uh, this is uh, when you do the when you used to do the update uh, all on Mr. You would just get updated versions of the cores and all this. But w what this is, is a gigantic glob. I probably should have ran this before I started to hit uh, the old stream button. But uh, what they've done is they've updated updated all the um cheats and filters and uh so that's what you can see what it's unpacking right now if you can i don't even know if you can read that text but these are cheat files for the super nintendo which is not really what i'm interested in what i'm interested in is in getting that updated apple II core i don't know if it's included in the update all if not we'll play something else on the apple II. i've got um i think aaron uh from amigo aaron is going live in about an hour and 15 minutes and so we will definitely, uh, once he, we get the notification that he is live, possibly even before that, but uh, um, definitely by then we will be, uh, uh, if I'm still online when Aaron's on, we will raid his channel. Uh, chances are I may not, may not last that long. We'll see. So. Um, boy, oh boy, lots of updates. All these, these are all uh, arcade cores that are being updated. So one of the great things about the Mister, as I sit here and stall for time, is that, uh, there are a couple of scripts. Let me see if I can get to the script menu while this is running. No, you can't. Um, there are a couple of scripts. One's called update. One's called update all, which is a second, uh, uh, add on script. Uh, but, uh, this is a, a very thin down, uh, the, uh, her, I'm having trouble lasting. Hmm. Sorry. I don't get it. No, uh, it must, must have been a reference to something I said, but I've lost it. 
Um, but these uh, uh, scripts on the Mister, what what they do is uh, every single core that this thing runs, like Nintendo and Commodore and blah blah blah, all the all the different cores uh, are in an official are in official uh, repositories. Oh, <laughs> now what are you doing? Jack Flax says hey, to always keep your gun loaded. What's going on? Uh, so. Basically, when you run this uh, Mister Update script, what it does is it goes out and it gets all these uh, uh, goes gets all these cores. Um, oh boy, this is a, <laughs> this is a huge update, and I probably should have probably should have run this before uh, before I started. But um, now it's now it's getting all the arcade cores. But anyway, that is a nice feature of the Mister, which is you can just tell it update all, and it goes out. So it's not like, you know, when I had the old, um, I had the original Mist, and now it's retired, it's on a shelf, but the original Mist, uh, you had to constantly, you had to manually go out and check for uh, uh, cores, updates, you had to go out and check for updated BIOSes, you had to do all these things, you know, and uh, it was really a pain. And, and the other thing that was a pain on that thing was, Sometimes you would update a core, but the core required an update in the BIOS. Or you would update the BIOS and then the core wouldn't work. So it was this constant thing of manually going out and downloading files. There, I had a couple, I think, Paradroid and a couple other guys uh, that also had missed uh, uh, machines would create like repositories on Dropbox or other places. And, and they, we would kind of... Uh, share them you know what i mean okay so now the uh, mist has been fully updated and it's gonna reboot and then we will uh hopefully reap the benefits i like i said i don't know if the new apple 2 core is in beta or if it's actually been released into the um mr github but we're gonna find out one way or the other very quick very quickly Press any key to continue. And so now, with all the new cores, one of the um, cute little things about the Mist is you can add your own background screens. And so, <laughs> this is Mr. Combat. Um, all right. So, oops. This is the Apple II core. There is an Apple I core if you really wanted to um, to do this. Uh, I have not pre-ordered the 4K release of Cloak & Dagger, mostly just because I don't know that I have a way to watch 4K things. I mean, I have a 4K TV. I don't have a 4K. I don't think my Blu-ray player does 4K. Maybe it does. I don't know. Um I mean, I would probably would order that. I don't know what... If there's not a lot of uh, additional content, uh, I'd have to find. I'd have to see what else is included on it because, uh, like, I don't know what what would make it better in 4K than in um, uh, HD uh, games. So this is the problem with the Apple cores that there's all these different formats. There's these are nibbled discs. These are disc images. These are another kind of disc image. And each one of them, uh, let's see, Wizard and the Princess, Wizard and the Princess. Here's Wizardry, disc one of two, two of two. Uh, and so on the Apple, you put a disc in. And we're going to find out real quick. The disc activity light is flashing. Prepare yourself for the ultimate. In <laughs> well, I don't know how far it got before, but um, this is um, looking good. But I don't know when it locks up. It probably locks up further into this. <clears throat> Boy, does this bring back memories. Uh, I've told this uh, story before on podcasts and probably on streams, but uh, when I was uh, a kid, a... Uh, a friend of our family, okay, so this is just looping. This is good. Let's hit space bar and see what happens. A friend of our family bought me uh, Karateka for the Apple II when I was a kid for Christmas. 
And uh, when I had it, the disk activity is stopped. So it looks like maybe I may have to go find that core uh, manually. Now the screen has just gone black. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think uh, <clears throat> that's in the regular update path yet. So, well, that's a bummer. Um, yeah, I'll tell you the other one that I was going to try here. Uh, let's see. Not Maniac Man. Here we go. Boy, there's a lot of different copies of this. Side A. Side A. Let's give it the old uh, reset. The old Apple II reset. <clears throat> there's a logo. Yeah, so uh, like I said, I, I've been following this... Uh, uh, updates like th it, this has been within the last 24 hours. The uh, Apple II uh, update. Uh, update my scroll. <laughs> Let's see, 1986. There we go. All right. Uh, let's grab a joystick. Now, one thing about the uh, Mister Poop Poop is that uh, for the Apple Core, uh, let's see. Is that uh, okay? I don't know if this is. This is less than impressive at the moment. It doesn't like any of that. Uh, let's see if there's any settings here for joystick, analog, normal. No. Sometimes on some of these discs, different versions. Uh, let's try this. Reset this. I found that um, uh, it's funny that the Apple II is such an old system, and yet it seems to be one of the uh, older cores that has received uh, less updates. So, yeah, we're just squeezing, you know, uh, <clears throat> we're squeezing a maybe an hour long stream in here. So. Any of the joystick buttons do anything? They don't seem to do anything. Any of the function keys? I don't think a function key would do anything. Start. Control, shift. Hmm. Not liking that. Let's try something else. Just a different game. Apple II with its sweet, sweet interior uh, uh, internal speaker gave you lots of beeps, beeps and boops. Uh, I see slight flashing going on over there. All right, all right. I think Aaron will be going, uh, I see green light flashing now. I thought yellow light was, there we go. <clears throat> We're getting something. Oh, here we go. Wow. We, <laughs> that's a cursor. That's hard to miss right there. Uh, you know what? I may just have to, let's see. What year is uh maniac mansion? what we'll do we'll 
just take the year out for right now. There. All right. You know, would you believe that I've never played Maniac? I mean, I've played Maniac Mansion. I've never played it uh, all the way through. Uh, there's Dave. I'm trying to pick people that would look significantly uh, uh, different on the screen. I think that is the punk girl. Is that right? Let me know if you're getting any audio from the game itself. I'm looking. Ooh, we. Hey, you know what we could do? Hang on here. Oops. Hang on. There we go. Ooh, spooky castle. Put in side two and press joystick button. Well, we could do that. Maybe we can do that. Side B. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I wanted to play Marvel Madness, and I wanted to play Wizardry. This looks like the old mansion. I'm sure I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. You know, I, I always felt like um, maybe it was just the castle aspect of it. I don't really know, but I always felt like this was kind of a parody of... Uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I was a latecomer to. I heard Dr. Fred was kind of cute. Let's do it. Let's go rescue Sandy. Oh, boy. Look at this. Let's see. Right, this looks like a sign over here. Can I read this sign? Okay, you press the button to do the verb, the noun. Warning! Trespassers will be horribly mutilated. Well, that's not good. <laughs> uh, let's see, we've got read, we've got what is, we've got pick up, walk to. New kid changes people. I don't see ex like a look or examine, like if I want to look at the moon. So if I just click on something, he just randomly, he just walks there. All right, well, I guess we need to walk this way. I don't like that girl's mouth. It looks like her mouth is sewn shut. Yeah, this was early. This was uh, eight bits for sure. The Commodore 64 version is, of course, uh, much more colorful and, and uh, better looking than this. But uh, I'm sure this was very exciting when you uh, when your first computer was just uh, text and ASCII and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm sure this was more impressive than that. All right. Let's keep walking, Dave. Uh-huh. Can we walk? I always I always uh, try to like go past where like uh, the obvious thing would be to go to that door. But uh, I want to go explore over here and see if I can see anything else. It'll probably kill me. The Apple II was not known for its sound, I can tell you that. Oh, look, there's the uh, there's a mailbox. Uh, let's open. Mailbox. Beep. Uh, but yeah. Use. Uh, 
No, no. I want to just, uh, I mean, uh, read mailbox. Solicitors will be eaten. Okay. I feel like there's maybe mail in there, but, um, uh, So the uh, Apple II joysticks were like the old IBM PC uh, uh, joysticks in that they were all analog. And so uh, on the original Mr. Core, I don't know uh, because it doesn't affect me now, but uh, okay. All right. Great. Oh, you know what? I wonder if you can... Uh, Maybe we have to mail something later. Okay. Well, I don't want that anymore. I want to walk. Walk, buddy. All right, let's go back to walk, too. Uh, and so uh, a lot of people had trouble getting joysticks to work on the original uh, Apple II core. But I use a PS3 controller, and the analog stick works uh, great with this core. So... Let's open the front door. Turning up my mixing board here. Oh, I missed what happened. What happened? Did I open? front door the door is locked okay 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 is that a uh, door bell buzzer let's try to push that oh no push front door okay so let me go back to what is and then I could kind of hover around here the doormat oh there's a doormat all right, let's. I bet there's a key under the doormat. What do you want to bet? Pull. Doormat. Aha, look at that right there. There is a key. One of the biggest problems with this genre of game, especially in the old days, and even in the, the updated ones, weren't much better. Uh, was that you're, you know, you're relying on these graphics. Like if you didn't happen to see this little key here. Okay. So now am I going to, can I open door or am I going to have to use the key on the door? That's another annoying thing about these games. Like it knows what you want to do. Yeah. The door is locked. So let's, oh, now this says unlock, unlock. Front door with, and look, the object has appeared down here. Key. Uh huh. It's a lot of clicking to go through a door. It's kind of annoying when it's uh, it would be easier to uh, just unlock a door in real life. All right, and now we are in a mansion that I don't know anything about. Let's uh, do this real quick. I don't know if this is cheating, but okay, we got walk to, blah, blah, and then what is? We got grandfather clock. Is that something behind there? No, that's just a wall. There's a door. There's a vase. And, I mean, this is stairs over here. Okay. Let's look at the clock. Push, pull. Oh, what is. I don't. There's nothing that's like interact with. I mean, like use clock. That doesn't make sense. I mean, like walk to clock? Like it's not going to. Like I just want to. I don't think I should push the clock. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. 
Can I push this vase? I want a verb for smash. That'd be nice. I want to kick this vase. Look, there's got to be something hidden in that, right? I can't move it. I guess pick up would do the same thing, right? Pick up. Vase. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's... Uh oh. Cutscene. Cutscene. What's happening? Well, my dear. Hope you're having fun. Oh, that must be my friend Sally. Uh, within minutes, it'll all be over. Uh oh. You'll be hooked up to my machine. Getting your pretty brain sucked out. <laughs> Well, you'll never get away with this. Oh, that's her. You'll never get away with this. Dave and his friends will rescue me. I wouldn't be so sure about that, lady. You and your meteor can eat slime. That's what she thinks. Oh, there's a little breaking the fourth wall there. Look at that. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't like that he's mobile. Help, help, help. Sometimes uh, I think about just getting a walkthrough for some of these old games, you know, and uh, going through the whole game. Maybe I'll do that sometime. All right, well, we're back to Dave. Let's see what's in here. I also feel like I should map these things out. I'm not good at remembering where I'm going. I'm also not a fan of loading times, even though I built it into my podcast. <laughs> okay, so that door goes to this kitchen. I do know that there's a famous uh, scene in here that involves putting a hamster in a microwave or something like that. Let's go take a look in the stove. I'd rather use the microwave. Oh, look at that, Dave. Open. Microwave. But, I mean, is it open? I mean, see, this is the problem with these games. Like, it's kind of hard to tell that's open based on that little picture can I push these buttons okay well I don't have anything to put in the microwave yet I guess I could put the key in there and see if it sparks all right oh okay I can see it kind of looks like it's closed what else we got here can I, I don't see the, these cupboards can open well maybe I don't know what is Oh, flashlight. I didn't see. I didn't even see that. Okay. Well, that seems like something I'll need to get. Get, read, pick up. Flashlight. What is on the wall over there? All right. I got a flashlight. Can I pick up th these knives? No. Maybe I need to be on the next. Very dull knives. They're glued to the wall. All right. Let's go to the next scene over here. Over here. Oh no! Oh no! Can I run away? I got you. Well, there's the. There's the basement door. It looks like. I guess I shouldn't have spent so much time in there, huh? It's a, it's a no bueno. How silly of me. I should have tied you to my bed. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, this doesn't seem good for old Dave here. Is this the same room that... uh 
Sally's in? No. Uh, Secret Lab is over there. All right, let's. <laughs> I think I have to switch to one of my other my people now, don't you think? Uh, what is bottom padlock? Top padlock. Outer door. Oh my gosh, this doesn't look good, Dave. And then these barred windows. Well, that's bad. Is there a talk to? Uh, how about this? Uh, unlock. No. That's not what I want. Unlock. Bottom padlock with key. I bet the mad scientist keyed all his locks with the same one. What do you want to bet? He would bet wrong. All right. Well, it feels like this guy might be stuck here. So. Oh, wait a minute. Where's. Oh, a new kid. Okay. Uh, let's go to Sid. I was a big fan of new kids on the block. I guess I should have ran away when I saw the doctor. Was that the, uh, was that the right move? Right. It's a lot of just walking. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I think I, I've played this to the extent of like what I'm doing right now, which is just walking around with no real clue of uh, like no real plan of attack, just exploring and wandering with these people until I get them all captured or killed or whatever. Guess I should be ready to run out the door in case the doctor's there. All right. He's not there. Maybe I should close this door to the kitchen. Yeah, well, that's, uh, you know, the... Um... Oh, whoops. I thought for sure I got stairs to show up when I did what is, but uh, I bet I could go up this. Oh, there we go. Oh, look. Can, uh, can we... Uh, push this vase over? I feel like that's how I would find something hidden in the vase. I would push it over. No. Pick up vase? No, that would be the same. If I can't move it, I can't move it. Uh, let's, since opening a door last time worked so well for me, let's try that again. There's no handle here. Well, that sucks. Oh, how about this one? Is that a handle or is that a picture of no handle? Oh, no, there's literally no handle in that one. Maybe I have to just push that door over there. All right, I'm in some sort of parlor here. Uh, let's turn, well, let's um, open this cabinet door first. And then what is that? What is this? A cassette player. 
All right. Uh, um, push. Cassette player? No, I don't want to. I want to use it. Uh, maybe I just need to get it. I can't tell if it's supposed to be like a. <clears throat> Can I use the cassette player? Maybe I ha I have a cassette, or I will find a cassette. Okay, what else do we have in here? Uh, what is? We've got a cassette player. And the cabinet. So that's all, that's just a big giant cassette player. This is a radio. This is obviously a window. That's a couch. That's a chandelier. And that's me. Okay. <laughs> Let's turn on this radio. I feel like turning on the radio is going to send the tell the bad guy I'm hiding in here. The doctor. I also don't hear, like, I was expecting to hear um, beeps, boops, or something. You know what I mean? Make sure that's turned on. Turn on old-fashioned radio. What if I turn on the cassette player? Turn on... There's no tape. Okay. Okay. So let's go here. Let's go open the window. I'm just ran, I'm like applying every verb to every object. I don't feel like I'm attacking this <clears throat> within any sort of logic yet. All right. There's no nothing over there. Let's walk over here. Maybe I can search uh, the couch or something. Uh, push the couch. Nope. Uh, read, give, pick up the couch. Maybe pick it up and look underneath it. Nope. Okay. Use the couch. I guess use is what I was, well. So, yeah, that does look more like a cassette player now that I'm, oh. But use wants another verb. Let's use that with the couch. <laughs> All right. Let's go look in the other half of the room. There's another window. That's the old trick. You don't, you know, you, you try to open one window and you can't. So you, and mentally you think, ah, you can't open the other one. But ha ha. But no, you can't open that one either. <laughs> Foiled again. Uh, let's go check out this door. Yeah. I know, like a search. I mean, like I mean, if I were writing a game, in the couch cushions is where you hide something. Actually, when I wrote Hangar uh, eighty one, my text adventure, that's where I hid stuff was in the couch cushions. Uh oh, boy! If only I had a uh, flashlight, which is in the uh, hidden in the basement, and I'm guessing, yeah. That there's stairs. And there's a sign somewhere. I saw a sign. There's a lamp. Oh, I'm right behind a lamp. Can I use the lamp? I mean, that would be a win if that actually works. That doesn't seem to work. What? I mean, if that's not a victory in this stupid game. I mean, if you can't get lamp, what kind of adventure is this? <laughs> oh, that must be the science staircase out of order. All right. Well, unfortunately, I've found the flashlight and gave it to a guy who I sent to a dungeon. 
Can I go get that guy out of the dungeon? Let's go try to get him out of the dungeon. All right. We're going to go all, all or nothing. How do I get out of this room now is the problem. Don't tell me I'm stuck in here. Oof. All right, what do we got here? Oh, there's a door. Okay, okay. Don't panic, O'Hara. Is that where the door is? Golly. Well, that was fun. Remind me not to go far into any more dark rooms. Yeah. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me use the lamp. Oh, I, I hit use lamp, but not turn on lamp. Is that what I did? Let's go back. Cause really, I feel like watching this thing load 82 more times. Now, I didn't get that view before with the couch in the middle. I went right from the one half of the couch to the other half, I think. I don't know. That could be wrong. Mine plays tricks on you. Turn on lamp. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Good job, Aardvark. Okay, now what do we got back here? I mean, it's kind of redundant. It's books, I get it. That's the lamp. I'm in some sort of library, but can any of these... I mean, doesn't it feel like um, one of these, if you were to push it or pull it, would open up a secret... Uh, a secret passageway. I mean, that's the way these movies work, right? And these stairs are out of order. So let me, hold on, let's see. Can we go around these stairs? Is there something else over here? Okay, no, walk to. Well, this interface is annoying. It's too bad that, uh, that they never updated games and made anything newer than this. Uh, okay, so we're in some sort of study. Here's a telephone. Hello, hello. Mo, Larry. Come give me a hand. I'm stuck in this house. Why did he walk around the stairs? He couldn't just walk over there? That's dopey. It seems to be broken. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. There's got to be... we got to examine these... These books. Like, is this a gap? Or is this a suspicious book right here that needs to be pushed or pulled? There's Chuck the plant. Why does the plant have a name? That's odd. Uh, what can we do? Uh, pick up. I mean, that doesn't look like something that's going to leave with me. Uh, unlock. Use.
okay, so I feel like I mean there's got to be I feel like maybe I'm on the wrong track. But doesn't it feel like you should be able to pull a book? Maybe I'm wrong here. Okay. We're going to sit in this chair and think about it. Yeah, I just saw Colossal Cave. Uh, the um, uh, the Williams, Ken and Roberta Williams, are going to be... Uh, doing Colossal Cave in a uh, updated style. It said that they uh, were uh, uh, got bored during the pandemic and decided to make a game. First game, I believe it said, in 25 years. So good for them. Uh, yeah, I'll possibly read book. I mean, I, it just doesn't seem to be, uh, like it doesn't highlight that that's a thing. The books are a thing, but like I just keep saying staircase and lamp, but that the books, the books don't really register as a, let's go back to the other side here and just in case I missed one. Walk two. Not the staircase. It's like when you play a game with your children and they're just being 100% literal. Um, okay. What is... And then... What do we got over here? We have the phone. We have the chair. We have the lamp. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Loose panel. Oh, interesting. But once you hover over something, like once it finds something, it's, that stays down there. So if, it, if any of these books were possible, it would be something. But loose panel, that's something new. Uh-huh. Is he really going to walk around the staircase again? Yes, he is. But, I mean, if to play the game, you have to just click on what is and scan the entire screen every time. That seems a little. Oh, what do, now what have we got there? Let's move over here. Oh, is that a cassette? Is that a cassette? It's a cassette tape. Oh my gosh. I feel like we cracked the code. We are getting so close. We've basically beaten the game. Basically. At this point. Oh my. Alright. Let's get out of here. Don't walk to the staircase. Walk to the other room there, Billy. I feel like I should... Um... I mean, they wouldn't use the same bit twice. Lamp, door. Nothing there. Okay. Let's go here. Not what is. Oh, boy. I wonder if there's a keyboard shortcut back to... If you could just hit, like, W to get to highlight the walk to or something like that. That would be way better. What time we got? 7.02. At 7.30, we've got uh, the big Aaron from the Retro Amigos. So the minute that... Uh, uh, minute that we see him hop online, we're going to raid him. So that should be about... 30 minutes from now. Let's see here. Okay, now you ready for this? 
This is like the first thing that's happened that's actually that I've, we've actually done something. Use cassette tape in cassette player. All right. I thought for sure it would just start playing. <laughs> Turn on. Yes, turn on the cabinet door. It's blank. Are you kidding me? <laughs> huh. Didn't you think that was going to do something? Uh but I do have fix. Was that was fix always here? Oh, well, that ain't gonna work. What is walk to open close? Open. Should I leave the tape in there? I really thought there was going to be a recording on there. I mean, didn't that seem like the way we were headed? <sighs> well, what was the point of all that? Okay, let's go push this door. Let's see if this is a push door or if it's... Um... Now, I do believe... Um, no, so we can't push the door. I, this is, must be a one-way door. Uh... That opens from the other side. We can't push it. We can't pull it. We can't move it. And we can't open it because it doesn't have a doorknob or handle. And we can't fix it. And the only thing we have successfully done so far is put a blank cassette tape in a cassette recorder. Now, I do know that at some point in this game... Uh, you have to, is there anything here? Can I open, now that I'm on a roll, can I open this clock? Probably not. It doesn't appear to open. Can I push it? Like, now I'm just doing violence. <laughs> no. Uh... Is it broken? No, I don't have anything to fix it with anyway. Let's go up these stairs. Um, I know that there's a, a certain point where uh, you have to do things in coordination. So you have to have multiple characters doing two different things at the same time. Maybe one is a decoy and one doing something in one room, one doing something in another room, something like that. Um, it does not feel like, uh, in the next 24 minutes, I will get to a stage where that has to happen. Okay. There's some f pictures on the wall of Fred and maybe Fredina. Uh, can we push these paintings or pull them? No. Okay. I guess uh, Fred stays down there. Okay, so we've got one door there. I mean, as long as it takes to walk around, I should just go one way and not explore everything all at once. But <clears throat> I guess, okay, so here's another door over here. Uh, that doesn't look like it has a handle. Oh, no, maybe it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's just start over on one side. I don't even feel like we've got far enough to where like I would need to save my progress so that we could continue this on on another stream. I feel like I could get back to this point pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, okay. We got a piano, piano bench, a record player, another cassette. Record a lot of tape players in this house. 
Um, let's see what all we've got here to look at. We've got a piano bench. We've got a piano. We got a vase. An Evictrola. Oh, and a cassette recorder. I mean, so maybe they'll bring the blank tape up here and I record something. I could record music on that, maybe, if I had music, but uh, let's see. Let's pick up uh, the bass. Can I do that? Better not. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, like a decoy, right? Uh, now, when I was a kid, we had a um, uh, an upright piano that my sister played, and the bench opened, and you could store the music stuff in there, the papers and stuff, so maybe this bench opens. Not this one. Uh... Yeah, I mean, like, if this were a text adventure, I would be like, play piano or sit on bench or all these different ideas. But uh, uh, there just seems to be a lot of window dressing in this. There's no tape in the recorder. Of course not. Because I put it in the other stupid... Literally, this guy has a mansion, and he has a tape player in one room and a tape recorder in another room. That's brilliant. Does this room continue over? Looks like it. Oh, yeah. It's a, oh, look. There's a record. <laughs> uh, now, this is like the famous, like the horror movie trope where... A person standing there, and then all of a sudden they'd look and they go, ah, they're right there. But if in real life, you would have seen it. So, I mean, just a minute ago, I was like, now I'm going to have to go find a record. And then I move over one inch, and you go, well, there's a record. Uh, use old record on Victrola. But, I mean, I don't, I don't hear any sound. I thought maybe for some reason it would, I'd hear it. Huh. Turn on. I mean, I'm making so much noise in this house that wouldn't you think that eventually that doctor is going to come find me? Put inside one. Oh, now this is interesting. Was that not side one? Uh, I mean, those are all side B. I mean, this is... <laughs> I mean, this might be a mercy killing... Oh, okay, different release. I did the second one down instead of the first one down. Uh, three guys. Hi, all you budding writers, musicians. Hey, all right. And game designers. Oh, this is three guys who publish anything. It's a commercial. I'm Mark uh, Etier, and my company... Will publish 
anything. This seems like a jab at some other company, doesn't it? Like, like this might be some sort of internal jab. Just mail it to the address shown below. Oh, I missed it. Oh, send to 222 Skyscraper Way. 222 Skyscraper Way. You know, we did find a mailbox. Don't forget the stamp. All right, so we did find a mailbox, so maybe this is important information. Doesn't really seem like it's important information at this point, but um, all right. Okay, so we watched the commercial. Um, oh, this is a speaker. I would not have got that. Can't turn on the speaker. Okay, so, I mean, I have to operate on the assumption that the blank cassette tape has to go in the cassette recorder and that we have to record the music onto that. I mean, that seems like the most logical series of here. I don't know. There's an empty vase that we can't take, but maybe we could find flowers. You know what? There was... Was there flowers outside? I don't remember. But if there were, then maybe there could be flowers that you could pick up and put in the vase. I'm really trying to piece together logic at this point. There's a piano that we can't seem to play. We can't read, open, close. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that seems logical, Vart. This stream will be called Flack Struggles with Maniac Mansion. <laughs> okay, we got two more doors, and by the time we uh, inspect these rooms, I suspect our time will be up. We'll see. This is interesting. You know, I, I played a lot of Labyrinth, which um, uses the same engine. I played it more on the Commodore than on the uh, Apple II. Uh, but Labyrinth uh, Labyrinth had some of the same issues. I mean, this, this entire game engine just, I mean, it, it was a, uh, you know, we had text adventures, right? Then we had, uh, you know, the graphical text adventures, you know, things like... Uh, uh, well, the pawn we played, but that was a later one. But uh, like Princess and the P or Wizard and the P and, and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, this is a, was a logical step, right? This is, um, you know, their version of King's Quest, more or less. Uh, this kind of point and click graphical adventure. But I think the point and click stuff got better. Citrov. Oh, something about the Louvre. Uh, okay, what else? Read. Let's see what this is. No, it's not something to read. See, that's the problem. Like I said, like, like in a, in, this needs like a generic examine. Okay, that's obviously not the statue I'm pointing at. I guess that's just something on the wall. Door, there's a candle. That's just background stuff. This is a door. This is a carpet. All right, let's go check out the rest of the room. Why they would have this giant statue up here? Can I push this statue? It looks heavy. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, it, you know, in the uh, uh, in that whole genre of point and click, it's that. Golly, who would hang a picture like that on their wall? Let me look, walk over here. <laughs> look at that picture. Yeesh, we've got more stairs. 
Is there something further over here? A lot of times, right or wrong, I tend to judge art in general. And when I say art, I mean books, I mean movies, I mean music, all sorts of art, video games. Uh, on a scale and the bottom, like if you say the scale is 1 to 10, 0 to 10, right? Oh, look, we found an arcade. All right. Yes. I mean, if I had my other buddy up here, I could play some uh, some air hockey. Ah. Uh, Um, but I, but on those types of things, like music, for example, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, it doesn't seem to work. Oh, no. Are these all going to be broken? That'll be sad. Oh, tor turn on coin box. Can I open the coin box? Because that's what I would do in real life, because I am a thug. Thug life, yo. It's locked. That key's not going to work either. Yeah, but it's going to say with what? And I don't have anything. Fix. Coin box with. I don't, I don't have anything. But it's a good idea. Um, so I'm going to certainly, I'm going to assume none of these work. I think it's on, but there's no power. Oh, you know what? Whenever we saw the um, the doctor in the basement, I did notice that there was like one of those switches that the uh, mad scientist would throw. The machine is locked. You know, it's it's just that that trope of they're going to be like two locked ones, and then maybe one will open. But not this time. So they're on, but there's no power. Well, I've got to do this on every single one. Because why would they put that as a detail? Right? Why would they put coin boxes on all of them? If it's the last one, I'm going to be so mad. Hey, there's Kill Thrill, which uh, we did have Thrill Kill on the PlayStation. What else have we got? Meteor Mess. That's a good band name. The Enemy. I can't even read that. I'm trying to see if it was easier to read over that. Alien Slime. Nope. Okay, so we have an arcade where there's no power. That's fantastic. Uh, hmm. Now I forgot. Is this the door over here that we came in? So this is where I should start. No. Okay, we came in that door. So we can open this door. That's why I never close the doors, so I can see, um, tell which doors are mine. Oh, boy. Let's see. Uh-oh. Examination table. Don't like that. Door. Medical chart. Real skeleton. That's not good. Desk. Um, I literally saw a lamp, desk lamp right there. All right. I mean, surely that's not how you're supposed to, um, solve these. Like by just clicking around in the dark until you find something. I guess the flashlight would, would have alleviated that. Uh, okay. What do we got here? Desk drawers, always good place to search.
the problem is, yeah, I open the drawer and then I can't see in there. Um, let's see. Pick up. What is this? I'm looking out the window because my next door neighbors are backing a brand new car into their driveway. Uh, pick up manuscript. Hey, I bet I could mail the manuscript to that company. But I'm going to need a stamp. It looks like someone's memoir. Okay. But the writing is terrible. <laughs> oh, it's written by about a meteor. Oh. Is um Okay. So there's no other spot to open. Let's reclose the desk. Uh, there's a sign here. Docs RS Diploma. <laughs> Degrees for mummifying and bandaging. That doesn't seem good. Doesn't seem like I should be wandering around someone's castle that has a degree in that. It looks like formulas describing the structure of a meteor. So obviously there's a big meteor is going to take a big part of this game. That's strange. I mean, there's any part of this you could say is strange. Can I push this table on wheels? It's too heavy. That doesn't seem logical. They should have had another reason why I couldn't, couldn't move that. Medical check. Because I want to put the skeleton on the... Yuck, that's disgusting. I want to put the skeleton on the medical table. Uh, let's see. Let's open this. It must require a special key. Well, there's a lot of things that require keys around here, and I don't, maybe it requires a skeleton key. Can I get a skeleton key? <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, what is... I'm just looking to see if there's a skeleton key on the skeleton. But no. All right. Uh. Ooh, that's scary. What can I do with the skeleton? Turn on, turn off, fix, use, unlock, pick up. Uh, walk to, open, close, read, nothing. Okay. So nothing in here for now. We did get the manuscript out of here. It is 727. I'm keeping an eye out for uh, Amigo Aaron. Uh, Amigo Aaron does his uh, Friday night disaster stream. And... Um, He's going to be playing modern games, modern retro games on Twitch. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, it will be on Twitch, but modern retro games uh, that are on Steam. So that's what he's going to be doing tonight. And I will definitely be tuning in over there 
and I hope you guys will too. Also, the Amigos have created the new uh, channel on YouTube called the Amigos Stream Team, and it would do all of us a big favor if you went on YouTube and found the Amigos Stream Team channel and followed that. Right now it has some terrible name like UX, blah, 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 all these random letters, and I don't think they could change it until we have 100 followers. So uh, we had uh, like... 10 followers the other day and now we have like 30 followers so we're getting there but it takes a, a little momentum the, the main channel of course has like 5,000 followers you can't pass until you feed me oh boy who that guy oh that's a is that a big tentacle I can't pass this guy Huh. Well, that threw a curve into things. Do you like to eat manuscripts? Oh. All right. Uh. So that becomes... Oh, that is just a giant tentacle. Is that the tentacle from Day of a Tentacle, I guess? Um... And I literally only have a manuscript, and I'm sure that he does not want a manuscript. I think I'm going to need the... Uh... Yep, he did not seem interested in that. All right, so that becomes a mystery. That will have to be solved. I would, we will definitely be revisiting this game. I might try the uh, Amiga or Commodore 64 version. Um, I might read the manual and a little bit more about the game in the future. It, the um, interface, like I said, it takes a little getting used to. Uh, using the analog joystick as a constantly as a cursor. I mean, it could be worse. Let's see. This was the examining room, right? This goes back out. We have that one other door over there. Keyboard shortcuts, man. Oh, yeah, there is a fridge downstairs. I was afraid to go back in there. You know why? Ha! We're living in the fridge. <laughs> That's a deep cut. That is a Weird Al version. Of an Aerosmith song. It's living in the fridge. Okay. Let's see. What do we? Oh, it's an art room. So what do we have in here? These look like art supplies, a little table, a bowl of wax fruit, paint remover, easel, unfinished paintings. Where are the, oh. A crate and a skeleton. Catch. Well, let's do it as quickly as possible. Let's pick up the... Hey, maybe the tentacle wants to eat wax fruit, you think? All right, we've got some paint remover. I literally have to see if that thing will open, will it eat uh, wax fruit. Let me guess, this thing's going to be locked, right? The crate doesn't open? I just feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff. In this game. Oh, 
Oh, wait. No, I need to. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. No, there's no stop. There's no boarding mission. Uh... Oh, you think so? Okay. All right. I got to go try this. I'm probably barking up the wrong tree, but I feel like a game like this with a little bit of a sense of humor, like you would try to give this uh, creature up here real food, and in reality it would want wax fruit. But I could be wrong, and probably am. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. I'm, uh, I guess that the doctor, uh, hangs around the kitchen because, uh, I mean, we have done every single thing in this game to, uh, uh, make noise and he has not shown up. We turn on the TV. My favorite. That's what I wanted. Look at that. It's a victory for us. Wowie zowie. We got something. Now I'm thirsty. Are you kidding me? Well, you know what I think you're thirsty for? How about some paint remover? No. No. Give paint remover to green tentacle. Yuck. No thanks. Oh, man. It was such a... <sighs> All right. What else do we got? Paint remover manuscript. Was there something else in the art room? Let's go look. Let's go check out that art room. I got so excited about the wax fruit because I, I what I saw was the paintbrush. Yeah, so there's maybe paint and a paintbrush in there or something. So let's. Um, I just feel like I'm probably wrong, but in these types of games, they normally don't put the object that you need to deliver so close to where you need to deliver it. That's the only reason why I think it's not something from the art room. I kind of, I mean, I hope it is because it's so close, but. Um, All right, I'm watching for Amigo Aaron. I haven't seen him online yet, but uh, if somebody uh, sees Aaron hop online, let me know. In fact, what I'm going to do, hang on for just a second. Turn to my other side here. And... Oh, it looks like he is here. Uh, it looks like he has just hopped on. So, all right. Well, this was uh, this was an experiment. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more messing around with that uh, Apple II core and try to get the read writing going because I, I'm just dying to play Wizardry. It's just one of my childhood favorite games. And there's other versions. And there's better versions, newer versions, too. But um uh, that's the one that uh, uh, I want to play on the Apple II. So, and Bard's Tale. Bard's Tale on the Apple II, although there's, again, other better versions of Bard's Tale. Commodore 64 is better. Uh, so, I, I'm going to figure out a way to save my progress on this. But what we're going to do right now is we are going to raid uh, Aaron's show for the night. So, let's uh, get over there. And uh, everybody stay on here because he is the main attraction of the night. So uh, let's see. It should be Amigos Retro Gaming. Let's get over there. Everybody hang on here. And uh, this will be the, uh, this will be the draw of the night. <laughs> 
So uh, thanks, everybody, for stopping in. We had a little bit of fun, and we'll be heading uh, over there now.